y'all so today's video is going to be another janet collection review they was nice enough to send your girl over this wig now this wig is from the melt series this is an hd transparent swiss lace and it is 100 percent hand tied the name of this wig is juniper and i do have her in a number two she is um heat resistant so you could use up to 300 degrees on any of your styling tools this wig do come in several different colors and she is a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig i am going to be doing this wig in a glueless method it do states that she comes pre pluck pre customized with a natural hairline so i'm gonna go ahead and bust this open and we're gonna jump right into this review so hopefully you guys can see that but this is how her start card is looking and it do have the color choices on the back so this is how the unit is looking she do come with some baby hairs she is like a body wave texture i do like the pattern of this wig it's very bouncy now the inside construction of the wig you do have your adjustable straps as well as a comb right here and two combs right there i was hoping that this wig did have an elastic band in it but it don't and this is how the inside of the lace is looking i feel like it match kind of perfect with my skin but we're going to go ahead, cut that lace off, style it, and I'm going to let you guys know what I think. Okay guys, so this is the final look on how this wig turned out. Y'all, I gotta hold my head a certain way so the glare of my glasses don't really show. Hopefully it's not showing. So y'all, my head seem a little stiff. Y'all know why. But first and foremost, Janet Collection definitely did they thing when it came to this wig, honey. Honestly, out of all the Janet um, wigs that I have tried, I think Juniper is my best one. And then China comes 
after. I do love how the wigs just have like a nice shine, a nice, a nice little luster going on. When you look at this wig, the, the wig is not overly shiny, so it do not give that cheap synthetic costume wig vibe. It do not give that at all. I do like the fact that the wig do have layers in it. I feel like the curls on this wig is very bouncy. The hair is really soft. I did get a little bit of tangles. All I did was take my wig brush and go in a downward motion and just combed out the little tangles, the little snags that it did have. Overall, I do think this is a good beginner friendly. Like y'all know I don't do baby hairs. Y'all know I do not do no 13 by 4, 13 by 6 frontal wigs. You know I stay in my lane. I do my closures. Whoop the whoop go about my day. I feel like I did a really good job. I've been watching tons and tons of videos to learn how to properly cut the lace. I don't know y'all. For some reason I'm just going to have to start buying wigs that have this HD lace. Transparent lace and just pay a little bit more because it's given what it's supposed to be gave. I really truly love this wig. Like I think this wig is a good beginner friendly wig. All you have to do is just cut your lace properly, lay your baby hairs, add some concealer to your part and you're really good to go. I'm going to have to go out and buy this wig at least four times because juniper is going to be like my go-to wigs now you guys can go ahead and find this wig on diva trust i believe diva trust it costs about 35 dollars for this wig sam's beauty is about 40 45 dollars and i believe they do have this wig on amazon but i'm gonna leave all the links down below in the description box where you guys can go ahead and check this wig out i do like this wig i feel like this wig is easy maintenance um this now i did do this wig glueless i wear all my wigs glueless and i feel like Sis is sitting on my head. I will kind of forever my straps in the back. So my wig do feel very secure. It's not sliding. It's not slip, slipping. So if you guys are someone who's like me y'all scared of frontals because you feel like you gotta wear glue and all this other stuff no you can always do a glueless method for your wig i truly truly like juniper and I've, if i really had to rate her i'll definitely give her a 10 out of 10 i don't have no problems with her like I said, I do like the curls. I, I just like everything about this wig. It was easy to style, easy to maintain. Like, I did not, I'm not getting any shedding at all. I'm not getting any shedding on this wig. And I just really, really, truly love this wig. I don't want to pull too much of the curls out. But this wig is um, heat resistant. You can go up to, I believe, either 350, 360 with any of your heat and heating tools i did use my hot comb to press down my top a little bit i did like the little volume that is given right here so i didn't want to go in too much and just make it flat to make it look weird but i do like that little body that is given y'all i really never gravitate to lace front two ways i hate when i tell you guys i hate 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 lace frontals i hate lace frontals but juniper really got me changing my mind on um lace frontal wigs if you are a beginner when it comes to cutting your lace i would say cut your lace in like a zigzag motion like just go in and out in and out in and out in and out and just cut it don't be like me and just make the mistake and just cut it straight of course because sis it ain't gonna look right and i just recently bought a curly wig and i feel like i messed that up because i just cut it straight i had to finesse it a little bit and kind of zigzag whoop the whoop in and out in and out you can use picking and shears um for that as well i mean there's other youtubers that use picking and shears i don't use them um i feel like when i had ordered picking and shears it was too big it was too bulky and the scissors was just too hard to use so i just use a regular um these are my shears i don't like using these because i use these to cut my hair but you go in the beauty supply store and get you some shears or like scissors like this to cut your lace. I feel like the sharper it is at the tip, the better. Some people use um, 
the razor comb, not razor comb, some people use the eyebrow comb, um, and some people use the um, little small scissors that comes in the set with the tweezers and stuff like that. You can also use that, but whatever you're comfortable with. I've seen people cut lace with big old jumbo kitchen knot, um, kitchen um, scissors. So whatever you feel comfortable with, just, just do that in and out like a zigzag triangle some people call it a triangle motion but you just go in and out in and out in and out in and out and cut your lace um like i said i do like this wig and shout outs to janet collection for sending me this wig when i do these videos this is my honest and truthful opinion because like i said ain't nobody got time to be wasting no coins or anything that's not good i do think janet collection do offer good quality synthetic wigs and honestly the synthetic wigs be more better than these human hair wigs in my opinion synthetic wigs be lasting a good long time it all depends on how you take care of the wig like i think this wig i'm five three i want to say this wig is maybe about 20 to about 24 inches i would say maybe 26 Depend, it depends on your height. But y'all, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button. As well as hit that subscribe button. And make sure you guys turn on your post notifications. So when I do drop another Janet Collection video, you guys won't miss it. But that's all I have for now. I hope you guys stay safe and stay blessed. And I'll talk to you guys later.